Hey, good day, YouTubers. It's Tyler here. Hey, I want to unbox and review the Fuji Tech uh, tripod for your cell phone and also show uh, different video clips of it uh, with my Sunco HD Action Cam also attached to it. So if you're interested to uh, see more about this product, stick around. YouTubers, um, I've already removed it from the box, uh, but the box that it came in, Fuji Tech. This is a Fuji Tech FT569 cell phone tripod stand. Um, it is nice because it has multiple links that you can go to, and you can actually use it as a selfie stick. So I'll get into that further. Uh, but I purchased this from Amazon. Um, it is around $22. I'm not quite sure as to what the price was on there, but I will put a link to the product below in the description. Uh, but first, before I get into this, uh, if, uh, if you could give us a like and give us a subscribe and um, we'll continue to do some more videos of uh, unboxing and reviewing some products that I think will be most helpful for for um, new YouTubers uh, like myself, uh, current YouTubers, uh, products out there that people aren't familiar with and hopefully we can uh, shed some light on that. So, uh, all right, let's get started. So, box is in good condition, um, which is a good sign. Um, first thing I noticed is uh, this piece fell out with this piece. It's not broken, but it is the attachment to the cell phone. So let's open that first, um, since that's the first thing that came out at me. All right, so it's nicely wrapped, tightly wrapped. And so, first thing that I noticed with this is it's pretty solid. It's not chintzy. Um, it's, it's made out of nice plastic material. Um, it's got a couple um, threaded inserts in there, so one to go into the tripod, but also one here to adjust the height and as you, or the width of your phone, and as you screw it, it uh, automatically comes up. So what I'm going to do quickly is just open it up to a specified area. Well, that would be good there. Grab my iPhone XR in the case, so let's see how it does with the case. Um, that is a, a bonus for me on, on items is to make sure that I can still continue to keep the, it in the case. I don't want to have to take my case on and off all the time. So, uh, But it looks like it has reached the width that I need. Kind of snug it in there. And it is on. It is attached. It's doing very well. The nice thing that I, I like about this is, let me remove this phone, is that it shows it's really easy to move up and down, but as you can see, there are rubber pads um, right here which will grip onto the case so your phone is not going to slip out. That's another big deal because if you have this out at its max, which I believe is 51 inches high, um, you know, the tendency of your phone to fall, I mean, it, it, it goes quite high. And um, if you can uh, maintain the stability in, in the unit itself, it makes it much more better. So, uh, But let's look at the unit itself. So it's got a nice little carry case. It's got a string and a drawstring here. And we'll open it up and see what's inside. Oh, we got another. Oh, yes. Another unit that fell out is a uh, micro USB to USB, and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but first thing I noticed with this is it's actually not too bad. It's very light. Very, very light. As you can see, it's it's about not quite two foot long right now. I think it was uh, 19 inches at its lowest um, setting. But you can see they've got three nice clips. One, two, three. Um, you've got an adjustable head, left and right, or forward or backwards, whichever way you have it set up. Um, it's got a nice little dial there to set the unit on. So let's go ahead and screw that on really quickly. Threads in nicely. Didn't have to rock it back and forth. That's one thing that I look for is how many times do I have to position the thing that I'm attaching to it. Jumping a thread is not a good thing. Um, and the nice thing about this one is, is I did mention it's also a selfie stick. So if you look closely here, it's kind of a nice product design here is that they've got the remote for the selfie part right attached to the bottom half of the um, tripod. So let's go ahead and open this up and see how nice it stays open. And, oh yes. So it's nice, they've got some good branding on the side, not too, not too uh, obnoxious at all. Gives the model the make. Um, there's, there's, there's something about products that have 
you know, their labels on there nice and neatly. You've got the model numbers, you've got the types, things like that. And what's cool about that, at least in my book, is that I go and look for other products made by these same companies. So that is a good thing. Um, I mean, it's a little noisy. So, you know, working with a selfie stick, I don't know how it's going to sound with a video, you know, if you're trying to move. But, um, you know, I'm not, that's not my purpose. My purpose is to have it for mounting for my uh, Sunco action camera to do more videos. Um, but let's extend it to its highest. So we'll lock that one in. What I want to test right now is how flimsy it is at its peak because the legs, as you can see, do not extend out very well or very far. So let's give it a stand here. Now we'll move my camera over here. Yeah, it's not too badly. Let's put my phone back in. Stick the phone in. Drop this down. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's actually really nice. Um, what I can also do with this too is if I don't want to use the phone, I can turn the light on and add some additional light right here. So you can see it's shining on the video right now, but or another perspective of the video. So I will be do I will be doing a lot of playing um, in my next videos to come. But so far, I really like this. Um, I'm going to do some uh, videos on it with my phone, but I'm also going to do it with my action cam, which I'm recording with right now. And we'll see which one, um, how the stability is and how it holds up. So um, let's check it out. I will go ahead and mount it and we'll see what happens. Okay, now I'm recording on my phone. I've got the phone audio going right now and um, the stability is great. Um, the, the, I'm not straining my shoulders at all. I've got it at a height of about maybe 40 inches off the ground. It's not too bad. Um, let's give it a little bump here and see how well the uh, video uh, comes out. Not bad at all. It would take take quite a uh, beating to knock it over. Now I'm sure if a wind popped up and you were outside, it would probably knock over. But um, let's go ahead and put the, uh, the Sunco camera on and see how that goes as well. Okay, now I've got my uh, Sunco HD um, action cam attached to it right now. So, um, you know, here's my phone mount. And now I've got the mount for the clip. It's like a small mini GoPro type off-brand. But, uh, yeah, anyways, it, uh, I really am happy with how everything turned out. I've got it set up basically how I want it. This will be similar to what my new um, look will be. I got to get my lighting all set up properly, but once I get my stand, my lighting and everything up, I can explain that in a further video to see, you know, whatever else that I can add to this. But um, so far, I'm happy. Yeah, I will, again, put a link in the description below for the uh, Amazon purchase. It was $25 um, with free shipping. Um, it was Prime eligible, so it came within two days. Uh, shipping was great. Um, timing was perfect. Box, again, was in pristine condition. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, I appreciate it. Again, like and subscribe if there's other videos that I can do for you. And um, I look forward to another video. Take care.